Juneau's historic flooding last summer, part of what a new study connects to the world's estimated 200,000 glaciers, melting at such a rapid pace, scientists say nearly 70% will disappear by the year 2100 as sea levels keep rising. The part of the world that's contributing the most to sea level rise is Alaska. And the Alaskan glaciers are really important in the global context because there's a large volume of ice. Dr. Beth Ann Davies is the lead author on a Juno ice field study published this month in the journal Nature Communications. She says she was surprised to see how since 2010, ice started melting at an accelerated, concerning pace. When we look at the last 10 years worth of glacier change over, the, over all of Alaska, we are seeing a real uptick that's faster than in some other parts of the world. Faster can be seen by looking at years in the study. From 1770 to 1979, the ice field consistently shrank at roughly one kilometer cubed per year. 1979 to 2010, there was more melting, but it was still fairly consistent. But since 2010, glaciers have been melting at nearly six kilometers cubed per year. Historic changes seen in the Juneau ice field when the first reported glacial lake outburst occurred. This can only happen because that whole glacier system as was pointed out in the study, is thinning, and it's thinning a lot, and it's thinning rapidly. That thinning, Alaska climate specialist Rick Toman says, has to do with the height in the atmosphere snow is falling. Since climate change means air is now warmer the higher you go, snow is also falling at historically higher levels. He and study author Dr. Davies agree as time goes on, that'll mean even at the highest elevations, there will be less snow. There's a series of processes that are accelerating melt or amplifying melt. That melt means there's more exposed land reflecting less sun, leaving glaciers open to absorb more of the sun's energy and more quickly melt. Dr. Davies says that leads to events like Juno's historic 2023 flooding. When there's a lot of water in these glacier dammed lakes and when they release all the water, we get the devastation that we saw last August. And as the glacier system evolves, Dr. Davies says changes are likely to occur, meaning areas like the Mendenhall River are more prone to flooding. I'm meteorologist Aaron Morrison, Alaska's news source.